Yeah, yeah. 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 Look, I'm going to say that that's unfair because in my moment of most concentration, no, I don't want to play. Hi, I'm Scott Mansell from Driver61 and today myself and Andrew Bentley here are at the offices of RaceLogic in Buckingham. We're going to be using their simulator to see, well, who is the best driver between us. Now, Andrew's got a, a fantastic racing pedigree. He's been racing in many historic cars, LMP3 cars, really quick stuff, and he's also uh, an excellent driver coach. So we're gonna head upstairs, get into the simulator, and see which one of us can do the best Super Bowl qualifying lap. You've been on this all afternoon. I haven't been. Not this track. Genuinely not this car, not this, car, not this track. Honestly. Yeah. <laughs> so, the rules of the game. Okay. Uh, we're going to be driving a Catrum. Yep. Brands Indy. Okay. Not a car that I've driven on the sim, I promise. I've not been here for really? two days. Yeah. Um, and we're going to get 10 laps of practice. Okay. And then one single qualifying lap. Yep. To do the Super Pole time. Okay. And whoever is the quickest is obviously going to be the best driver. We're then also going to take a look at the data okay. um, from the Race Logic unit that's in the sim to see. Uh, where the loser can improve their ten, their ten. Okay. <laughs> okay, so you're going to go first. What? Uh, I'm not going to watch. You'll also see here that we've got this uh, this shield on the OLED okay. display, the Delta timer. Yeah. So that I can't see what lap time you're doing. We'll just do the reveal once we're looking at the uh, the data in okay. the uh, in the data analysis room. Right. So jump in. You've got okay. ten laps and then a single lap qualifying. Okay. You'll put my boots on. Yeah. <laughs> When I get close, I've only got short legs. So I've, I've been around brands before, obviously, and I have actually driven uh, a Caterham before around brands. So theoretically this should... Shouldn't be too hard. Should be all right, shouldn't it? But you've been practicing on the sim all day, haven't you? So... I've right, only done a few off we go. A few? Yeah, okay. three or four. Oh, should probably concentrate, shouldn't I? Then? Is there a shift light? How do I know when to change gear? Oh, it's going... <laughs> What a start! <laughs> I don't know. I haven't quite worked the brakes out yet. Oh, that's better. Right, better exit. That mirror is in the wrong. In the, I can't see. Do we have track limits and stuff as well? Yeah. Like proper stuff. Okay. Well, that's all right. Okay, I'm gonna leave you to it, okay mate. Right. You get your headband. Uh, not good. <laughs> you in the wall? Yeah. No, it's fine. Where's reverse? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is quality lap now then. Yeah, when you cross the line, yeah. Surprisingly that awful entry didn't really make too much difference. Okay. Using the OLED just to give me the confidence to know I'm doing it. That was a good exit. Clean lap. That was a clean lap. That was very good. How, how do you think it went? Oh, hang on. Well, I know over how the limit it went. Yet. You're not over the limit yet. Over the line yet. I know how it went. So, we're going to reset the timer. Okay. And I'm going to jump in and do uh, my 10 lap practice into quality. Okay, so, time for me to have a go. I've got a whole lap to uh, get around as well. This, this isn't counted, right? I'll just go steady just to make it fair. It's really easy to drive as well, Scott. I, I just wasn't very good. So, I've not... 
So I've not driven this car either, um, on the sim at least. I think I've probably driven it in real life. And, um, you know, I don't want to blow my own trumpet, but I do have the lap record around Brands Indy, so I, I know it reasonably well. Tell me what, you can tell me that before we started. <laughs> so, Who chose the car? Andrew didn't look like he had any strategy, he probably did, but I'm going to try and see how much the brakes work, so I've just got the brakes to lock up then, so I've got an understanding of, uh, of how strong I can brake going into Druids, and then the next thing to do is to actually get a feel for what the balance is like and how much grip it's got. Don't really know what gear I'm in though, oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, so lap one. What were you changing at? Oh, there we go. I don't know, Six I don't know. and a half. I mean, it, you, you say I didn't have any strategy. I just made it look like I didn't have any strategy. <laughs> it's cunningly disguised as just trying to go fast. So I'm still creating the uh, the old reference lap on the race logic OLED display here, lap timer. So I can't really see how I'm progressing, but really at the moment, all I'm trying to do is to understand how this car sits, how it slides how big that window is where it's just rotating the perfect amount both on the entry and on the exit. Just completing my first time lap there. So I have no idea how that compares to Andrew's time because we covered it up. So I'm really going into the unknown, but it's not about that, it's about pushing as much as you can and uh, finding the limit. I mean, visually, it doesn't look as quick. That's what <laughs> Now you've spent a lot of time in Catrums, no? Yeah, but a lot, lot of time in the passenger seat. I spent a lot of time seat. on the sim before I got here, so you know. Were you breaking us here? No. Yeah, it's a big a... break. <laughs> this bit's flat. You were taking... <laughs> Turning on power. Oh, that's nice it, yeah, and... like that. that's <laughs> Okay, can you stop talking now? I need to focus. Oh, that was a bit too early, so I'm going to go a bit deeper the next lap. Up to the bridge to Druids. Quicker. I'm definitely going too slow, aren't I? Scott was talking to at least lap five, so I think we was, yeah. a bit more. Scott, you haven't had any big offs yet. <laughs> well, really no, exactly. Where the limits are. I'm going to turn the volume of the car up a little bit. Now, like you had. What? There we go. Oh, because I, I need to hear when it's sliding. I just dropped it I into couldn't... sixth, I think. I couldn't hear because you were talking. Nice entry, a little bit of push at the mid corner, got a decent exit, about the same as my best, I'm going to try and go flat through Surtees this time, load of curb, oh, it took it, it's flat, drop it down one for clearways, struggling to keep the rear under control, so next time I'm probably going to get on the brakes a little bit earlier, um, but softer, so I don't get as much weight transfer to the front of the car. So what I'm learning here is that actually you can't carry the brake in, can't trail brake too deep into the corner, otherwise the rear just comes around. Just trying to get out of the brakes nice and early. Transfer the grip to where we need it as we're entering the corner. Oh God. This is nerve wracking. Two tenths down on my fastest. You can see the lap time, can't you? I know what yours was. Yeah, yeah. And I, I know what this one is. Stop talking. Oh, for. <sighs> Look, I'm going to say <laughs> that that's unfair because in my moment of most concentration, <laughs> no, I don't want to play. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Okay, you two are independent. <laughs> can, can, can you let me go again, please? I'm oh asking God. for an official um, <laughs> wave up there, please. You can't say that that was fair. God. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Amateurs. <laughs> I'm more nervous now than I am when I'm in a proper car because you, there's less kind of yeah. um, stuff coming at you, you know what I mean? Yeah. I know you guys are here.
Yeah. No! <laughs> Shit. Do another go. No, that's it. I'll take that one. That was my fault. Oh no. I have 1.3 seconds off my uh, my best lap. That's not a good showing. You know what that lap was then? Oh, I dropped it. Because my last lap was my best lap. My last lap was the was the best lap. That wasn't, was it? The best lap that you did? My, the best lap that I ever did yeah. was the last lap. You pulled it together under lap. pressure. Yeah, it looked like I didn't know what I was doing, but clearly I, I might do. Okay, so the guy's going to take the, uh, the data out of the car. They're having a bit of a snigger here. They are, yeah. Is it because we're quite slow? I, th I think you might be surprised. Yeah, I think you might be. <laughs> we're going to have to take this next door. <laughs> <laughs> I guess there's only two of you, so I'll just come out and say who's won. So, with a time of 59 seconds, 0.27, oh. it's Andrew. Oh. <laughs> God! <laughs> uh, how close was it though? Because I did make that a huge mistake. 59, what was that? 59 point... 59.27. 59.27. It's the That's winning Scott. time. Scott, winning time. Is, this is very close. 59.3. There's three hundredths in it. 59.3? Yes. So, if I hadn't made that massive mistake on the exit, I would have probably been yeah. a second quicker. But, you made that massive mistake on the exit, didn't you? <laughs> okay, so we're going to have to have a rematch. So, can we have a look at yeah, the, sure. uh, the data, right. John, so I can actually see where I was quicker, just to, no so, you know, so I've got something to hang on to. Let's reveal the, uh, the laps. So let's have a look. Okay, so we are on the right side. So, in the circuit tool software, the red outline here, the winner, is, uh, is the fastest lap. Yeah. Unfortunately, um, but I mean, looking at the data already. So Andrew's the red line here on the speed, and uh, and I'm unfortunately the blue line. First of all, into paddock. Look at all that. We get on the brakes at about the same point. This is throttle actually, isn't it? Uh, this, this throttle, throttle here, yeah. yeah. But we get on the brakes at about the oh, same yeah. point as you can see down here. <clears throat> Andrew knocked a load of speed out of it. Um, but on the delta there, so I've been fortunate enough, and I've won a bit of time back. Yeah, right. we can find out how much that is actually if I do that. So let's what, that's work. a big so I click here, then look at the delta on this side. Now it will be fair to Andrew because I have been here for uh, for three hours already. <laughs> Not in this car, but on the sim. So I had a bit of a feel for it, and he's just arrived. Um, and jumped in, so yeah, that, that's not fair. But if you look at the line here, uh, you missed the apex, mate. There, I was late apex. <laughs> late apex. There, uh, I think I've hooked it up pretty well. Bit of rotation in the car, and uh, and and come through there properly. Could you just yeah make it zoom big. out a little bit? But what, I think what's what's interesting there, isn't it? Like, you're, I, yes, I'm slowing it down more clearly, but my exits exit speeds really good. Certainly through that one, probably over braking it a bit. But then I'm getting on the power much sooner. And this is where the delta time here and the, the OLED delta display are really useful when you're in the car because you can try slightly different techniques. So during my session and kind of knowing the sim a little bit more than, than Andrew, I was trying to release the brake a little bit um, a little bit earlier and lighter to a lighter pressure as I went in because the thing was oversteering too much. When you hold the brakes on for too long, you tend to have a slightly slower entry speed there. Andrew's made some up on the on the way out of the corner, but it doesn't, as you can see here, he's made some up on, on, on the exit of the corner, but it doesn't make up for the, the the speed that it's lost and the time that it's lost on the way in. What I would say then is that looking at the data, analysing the data, it's clear that my exit's are pretty good. I guess the apexes are going to be pretty good as well. And what I would do is just change my brake profile. You can see here braking for a, no, pretty much the same points. So Our brake points are very, very similar, apart from that one. Um, but I just come off the brakes a little bit sooner, come off the brakes a little bit sooner. Brake profile's almost identical, but you can see I, uh, I just uh, hang on to it for a little bit longer. So that's, that's the thing I'd probably change. Minimum speed would be higher, and then if I can get the exit the same, then happy days. Fantastic, mate. Well, um, I'm absolutely gutted, I've got to say. Um, to lose to you is just unbelievable. <laughs> But uh, thank you very much, and uh, can we have a rematch sometime? Absolutely, no worries. Well, the better man wants. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, man. <laughs> thank you very much for watching. Please uh, like and subscribe to the Driver61 channel. And if you did enjoy this video, please let us know because I am um, uh, I really need to come back to try and beat Andrew in the Race Logic sim. Thank you again to Race Logic as well, and see you next time.